all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends this is a short video on this channel just to get somebody busted you know all of us we knew that the muslims they have a claim that islam uh, or quran have a lot of uh, language uh, miracles and i have to agree the quran full of it to the point nobody can understand what muhammad is trying to say you see when somebody trying to make a miracle out of a book but yet he himself cannot explain the book that's a miracle and that's mean this is extremely stupid because if God he came to us with a book and the purpose of the book is to explain to us but yet he could not that's mean this book is a big failure but today we will show you another scam the Muslim they try to fool with those who do not speak Arabic about how amazing the Quran is and the scam today run by Nu'man Khan Allah is talking about the in the Romans they were fighting with the Persians and Romans lost and the Persians won by the Dead Sea coast like what is modern day Israel Philistine like that area right so they they uh, defeated the, the Roman uh, the, the Romans lost and the Persians won by the coast okay by the Dead Sea coast and the Quran says Rome was dominated in the lowest earth like literally says the lowest earth which is strange language it doesn't say lower earth because you know it's like lower literally which is literally says the lowest earth I'm not going to waste my time with this donkey liar he's a scam and he, he got busted even by the Muslims you know uh, when he say literally says the lowest earth he is saying that based on what is that based on the Quran itself or based his own knowledge or based on a knowledge nobody know obviously this is his own scam. Or elevation. It's kind of like a, a dip in the ground, the valley, you could almost say. But it didn't say low earth. It said the lowest of the entire earth. Lowest earth. The lowest of the entire earth. The Roman defeated in the lowest of the entire earth. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, just looking up the geology of it because I'm not a geologist. Uh -huh. The, the lowest point on the earth is that coast, mm. geologically speaking. Huh? That's the, yeah. That, that, that literally the coast. Underwater, the lowest point on the earth is somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico. Above water, the lowest point on the earth is exactly the coast where the Romans lost, like geologically. The Quran says Rome was defeated in the lowest earth. I'm just starting to think there's something going on with this book. <laughs> yeah. Something. There's things being said that people didn't even ask about when it was first coming down. Unbelievable. They didn't even ask about. I wonder what that means. And now we know. Now we know. Yeah, now we know. Let me get you busted, big fat liar. This is the book of Asbab al Nizul by Imam al Wahidi. The city where the Romans were defeated, it called Busra, which is or the closest city of Syria. This is what the Quran is saying. You will not find one translation saying it is in the near, in, in the in the lowest lo, lowest point of the earth. That's a big fat lie. Adna, this this liar. The word Adna here, as we see in the screen, mean the nearer land the nearer land read carefully with me i mean do do those people have a shame do they have a shame the roman have to be defeated in the nearer land not the lowest land because the roman and the and the persian they never fought in the dead sea you idiot in order to be that the dead sea first they have to have a war there and people they can go and check and see when the last time a war happened inside the dead sea you must be a stupid idiot you can't even walk in that land because simply it is, you know, salty. It's a trap. There's holes in the size of, of, of a stadium in some places. And the, and the land might collapse in even in a normal person walking in it. So there is nowhere in the Quran it says what he is saying. It is the nearer land. 
we change the translation just to show you we are not making this this is by the way this is into uh, this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul but we can go or we can check the interpretation maybe 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 this guy he is the only one who said that maybe the rest did not say that you know let's see Al Jalalain the nearest do you see it nearest all of those they are scholars who speak Arabic very well only Nu'man Khan and the scammers like him, they got with the conclusion that this is the lowest. It changed, it changed. you know, forget about, uh, you know, about uh, al Maybe he doesn't speak good English like Nu'man Khan, brother. Come on, let us change it. Uh, we go to Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad himself. And obviously, the cousin of Muhammad himself, he doesn't speak Arabic, good Arabic like Muhammad, like uh, Nu'man Khan. It says, in the nearer land, the close to Persia. Do you see it? What the lowest point in the old days? I was saying to myself, hmm, the Quran saying that, hmm, at that time we do not know that. Now we know that. Do you see how they lie with no shame? They lie with no shame. Go and check even their translation, their own translation. You will see it says it clearly in the nearer part of the land and by the way here there's a mistake because muhammad he says that the roman they will be victorious in a few years and the word in arabic here is used is buddha buddha is a number between three to nine maximum you cannot you cannot be under three it cannot be more than nine and the roman they were victorious long many many years after that so muhammad here he gave a false prophecy another another mistake in this chapter Muhammad he claimed that when the Roman they became victorious the believers will rejoice Read with me carefully The believers will rejoice Okay, why Muhammad who few years after he himself he decided to go against the Roman which is the Ark of Far And now he is saying the believers will rejoice if the Roman became victorious if they are kuffar anyway, if they will go to hell anyway, they are not better than the Persian. Why the believer will rejoice if the Roman, they are going to be victorious. At that moment, Muhammad, he was playing the game that he is Nasara. He is a Christian. As simple as that. And I challenge any Muslim to tell me how such a mistake happened. Your God, Allah, he says in a few years and the Roman, they were not victorious in a few years. And why the believer will rejoice if the Roman are the one? Muhammad himself, he said, attack the Roman so we can get the blonde girls. Attack the Roman so we can get the blonde girls. He is the same as the Persian. He is attacking the Roman to get their money to get the blonde girls. So why he will rejoice for the victory of the Roman? If we go to Ibn Kathir, just to get this Abdul busted. Alif Lam mean you see language amazing language in the Quran you ask any Muslim what Alif Lam mean mean they don't know you say Allah Allah knows best because Muhammad was copying it from a translation made by uh, ibn Nufar. here you will say in the nearest land in the nearest land this is Ibn Kathir this is not my uh, you know I'm not I'm not translating here Abdul all right and here this ayat were revealed in the victory of, of uh, Sabur, the king of Persia, in Syria. Okay? And then he says, uh, The Roman were defeated. Okay, here we go. Adn al Ard. The Roman were defeated in the nearest land. Okay, where is the nearest land? Let us see. Let me zoom in. This, uh, this website is stupid. It's like the text. They made the English text very small and the Arabic so huge. I mean, what a monkey, the one who made this website. Okay. But anyway, it's so clear that this is a fabrication of Nu'man Khan. Now, let us go to the second fabrication. The fabrication is not over, my friend. No, it's not over. Listen to this fabrication. Uh, you know, everything he said in his videos about lang language, miracles, and the Quran is a scam. And this is a challenge for any Muslim. To come to me with any of them is accurate. Watch this one with me. And love. One more. Just for a snack. 
23 years of this book and centuries and centuries later, we have this book in book form. This book uses the word ad-dunya. You know what ad-dunya means? This world. This book uses the word this world 115 times. 115 times. What word is you? Ad-dunya is 115 times. Hold on. I will try to show you two screen in the same time. Two screen in the same time. Give me a second. Ad-dunya is 115 time, right? Okay, we will see. All right. Let us try this here. See if we can show you the two of them in the same time. All right. Um, let us see. I see only one. Hmm. I think I need to fix that. I, I wanted to show you two things in the same time because supposedly. Yeah, I need to, uh, I, I need to find the. Uh, uh, you know, there is, an, there is a way I can show you two things in the same time. But anyway, he just said there that it is 115. Do you see it? 115. 115. So there is no doubt. I mean, you, are, you, you guys don't have that, that bad memory. So we will check in the other window, and we will search for the exact same word as you see. You see the word here? This is the word we are talking about. El Dunya. All right? El Dunya. I will type it in the front of you and let us see how many time is going to appear and he said in the video at that time there is no search engine so people do not know how to discover those things but he discovered it did anybody know that back then no they had no idea this book also uses al akhirah this life al dunya al akhirah the next life it uses it 115 times amazing so al dunya is 115 al akhirah is 115 let us go and see if this is a true or not. All right. This is the Islamic website, searchtruth.com. I will type the word in Arabic as it is in the front of you. Adunia. 111 time. Any word. 111 time. Exact word. 107 time none of them match with his lies he said 115 time the search engine said 107 exact why they lie you know we can we can copy you see, I will copy it from the Quran as it is. Hmm. You see, copy, and I will paste it there because maybe a Muslim he will say, "Oh, he did not type it right." Oh, maybe you know. Uh, okay. Ad dunya, one hundred or seven time. Why they lie? What about al akhirah? He said the word al akhirah, which is the one you see here. appear 115 time too is that true it has typed that in the front of your eyes sixty seven time if we make it any word this is exact phrase all words I would do all the options. 1010, any word. 1010. Which means the accurate one is the exact phrase because the other one is attached to other, you know, it's not really a word by itself, which can bring different meaning. So look how they fabricate and look how they lie when they come with their own numbers 
which is far away from the truth and that goes for everything in his videos and the Muslim like wow I mean like wow man how how the Prophet of Allah he how Allah he come with this man continue should we stop here or we continue let's continue a little bit more this book uses the word angels 88 times malaika 88 times it uses the word devils the word angel how many times 88 times the word devil in 88 times is that true let us go and see right in the front of your eyes <laughs> And by the way, I like the way he write the word Malaika. He don't even know how to write the word Malaika. This is not how you write the word Malaika, you idiot. Anyway, or maybe the Quran wrote it this way. This is why it's wrong, right? Okay. Let us see the first shayateen. Shayateen. How many times? He said 88 time. 88 time. And by the way, it's written wrong in his stupid software. This guy, he do not know how to write the words. As shayateen. Here we go. This is the correct way to write it. Unless you want to say to me the Quran is wrong. Okay, let us see. I don't see the screen. That is why. Let me switch. All right. You see, this is the word shayateen, and this is the correct way to write it, not the way he wrote it in his screen. And if we make it exact word, it's only appear eight times. Let us make it any word. Fourteen time. There's a huge difference between fourteen time and eighty-eight time. I mean, how stupid that is. Why they cannot even maintain a little simple lie? I mean, if anybody can go to the search engine, even if you don't speak Arabic. Here we go. I'm going to type the word Satan in English. You see, we try it in Arabic. Maybe in Arabic is not working. We, maybe the Quran meant to be in English, not in Arabic, you know. Satan. We will make it any word. Appear 42 times. 48 time in 42 verse any word change the translator shakir oh shakir translation what what happened <laughs> what happened anyway so it's obviously it's a clear fat lie there's a huge difference between what appear in this and here's the one who said that today if you search in the search engine and he's here's the one who told us the method he used you use the search engine as simple as that okay well we have a search engine I do not need to count really I can go right now and search in the search engine here we go this is other website maybe in this website will work better for you, you see I'm, I'm trying to help the Muslims maybe we can get it closer In English, so look with me here. Appear about seventy-eight result, which means anything connected to the word shaitan, it appear as seventy-eight result. Even if it's not shayateen, as he said, which means even if it's shaitan, like as an example here, shayateen ahum. Here a shaitan which means is individual but he in his text he said the shayateen appeared 88 times they have no shame and they try to fabricate as much as they can and the same goes for everything they say to us in their fictions this is the word malaika he said the word malaika appear 88 times. This is the word malaika, which means angels. All right. Oh, you guys, you don't see my screen here. Hold, sorry. 
Okay, I will go back. I thought you see my screen. This is the word Malaika. As you see, in the search result, it come as 114 times any word, which means the Quran, nothing left of it, have connection with the word Malak, which is an angel. It come as 114 times. So what we will do now with the 88 time? He said 88. How those numbers are coming to be exist? They don't even know how to write the word correctly. Al Malaika is not how you write it this way, the one they have it in the screen. Al Shayateen is not the way you write it. And the numbers are false. Every number they gave us is a fiction. And this is why, my friend, we cannot trust Muslims explaining their religion for us. And uh, uh, one of you, he sent me that uh, uh, the uh, if you write them, like if you if you draw the the line of your fingers, you will see uh, uh, eighty one and eighty one. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Eighty one over eighty one. All right. Let us see. Look like I lost it. <clears throat> eighty one. Here we go. Eighty one is uh, is written uh, like in Arabic. Eighty one here and eighty one here, and you know what? Well, uh, sorry, eighteen and eighty one, and the total is ninety nine. So how how this happened, my friend? Every hand is different. If you look at my hand, I will I can write many numbers in my hand. Every hand is different. This is a lie. You can try it yourself. What is the eighty one? What is the ninety one? Where is the what is the the numbers they are talking about is not exist. There's many lines in your hand. So you can decide which which line you want to draw and then you can come with any any shape you like it's a big fat lie additional to that muslim themselves they agree that the number the numbers of the names of allah is not limited to 99 that is a big fat lie they count 99 but it's not limited and we can prove that easy let us do that if we go And get the answer from the Quran, and we can get the answer from the interpretation. All right, chapter 7, verse 180. husna biha. All the good names belong to Allah, which means there's no limit for them. And you can go and check your any interpretation you want, any interpretation, all. All the good names supposedly belong to Allah. There's no limitation of certain name. That is a fiction the Muslims they come with. The same you can find in chapter uh, uh, 20, verse number 8. The same you can find in many, many chapters, you know. Uh, as an example, let me show you here. Give me a second. Uh, this website here is not giving me a chance to scroll down. I mean, to go up to show you the verse. Here we go. He is God, the creator, the maker, the, the shepherd. The, to him belong the names most beautiful. All that in heaven, etc. All the names belong to Allah, supposedly. Any nice name. So if your name is nice, it's belong to Allah. It doesn't matter what it is. And you can go and check right away, and you will find you can you can uh, you can uh, you can check those verses actually, and you can see like right now, 
chapter 59 verse number 24 59 the Muslim they depend in one thing that you are an ignorant and you do not know and whatever we say to you you will believe it okay let us see what it says about the names He is the most beautiful. His are the most beautiful names on earth. Anyway, I made a video about it actually, and I show you where the scholars they say that the names of Allah are not limited to ninety-nine names, but ninety-nine names is the one counted supposedly by the most Muslim scholars. But now actually they have a doubt about it in the Quran because there is a there is a Coptic Christian uh, priest. He challenged the Muslim to 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 count the 99 names in the Quran and they could not come with it you know uh, the names they are counted there 99 it was a copy paste from somebody and obviously nobody check it out uh, same time if we go right now let us see do this Let's see. I just found you the reference. Here we go. This is Islamic question and answer. The names of Allah are not limited to 99. I'm not going to read the whole article. You can read it. So everything they try to come with is not working for them. They are desperate. They are trying to find a miracle, but they cannot find a miracle. I mean, what kind of religion is based on a language or let us say this God, he cannot make a miracle, but they say to us a language miracle. That means God is Shakespeare. That means God, the one who wrote the, the poetry of the of the Greek. That means God is the one who wrote the poetry of the Arab Christians before Islam. There is seven, seven, it's called the hanged, the hanged one. Seven amazing poetry, thousands of poets, and they don't even use the same word twice very rich very powerful language that's mean those guys are God but the Quran is the most stupid book ever you can imagine and we will continue our broadcast in Arabian Prophet maybe after an hour from now so please join us download this video this video will not stay in this channel download it share it around and let us go and be together again in the Arabian Prophet account uh, maybe within an hour from now or something like that don't forget guys that those who have bankruptcy they will try to look for every penny in their pocket and because they have no penny left so they try to create one we are not stupid and nobody can fool us don't let them fool you if their God is a real God do what Jesus can do if their God is real God do what Moses can do Somebody trying to say to me, oh, my my in my book, the word angel and the and devil written 88 times. That is that is stupid. Because even if this is true, that will not approve anything. You see, if Satan is exist, cannot Satan make a book come with such a thing? He can. But even their Satan is not working good for them. Even their setting could not make it. I mean, look, the, the, their setting is making this, making them disappointed. Everything they said is false; is not there. You better change your Satan. Your Satan is not functioning good. I mean, your Satan is really horrible. Maybe they got their Satan made in China, aftermarket. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please download the video, share it around. As I say, this video will not stay here. And I will see you soon again in the Arabian Prophet, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And you get the answer. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.